What's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure I've said this in the beginning of most of my videos because of the amount of time in between each posting, but I'm back. I'm here today barefaced for you guys because I'm finally filming a very, very, very requested video or at least part of a very, very requested video. I'm going to finally be talking about my skincare routine. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about my morning skincare routine. And if you guys wanna know my nighttime skincare routine, please comment down below, leave a like, let me know, and I will get that done for you guys. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so before we get into the actual products and all that, let's talk about my skin. So my skin is dry, sensitive, dehydrated, I'm not really acne prone, but I do break out, especially during that time of the month. During the year, it changes. During the summer, I'm more normal combo. Towards the colder months, I start to transition into my normal to dry, very dry <laughs> skin. So for me, I'm also very prone to hyperpigmentation and scarring, especially after my period. My scarring gets so bad. Even if I don't pick at my skin or anything, nine out of 10 times there will always be a mark as you can see now i have some breakouts over here i'll have some scarring under here i have an active breakout over here right now but you probably can't see that i have another one over here all my scarring over there i get congested really easily right here my cheeks here are also usually bad my chin's really bad the sides right here i also get really congested but other than that i'm very lucky that i don't break out as bad anymore in terms of my morning skincare routine the first thing we do in the morning is cleanse, but I do not. <laughs> so because my skin is more on the dry side, I usually don't cleanse my skin in the morning. I will usually just splash some water on my face and that is enough for me, honestly, in the morning because my skin needs that little bit of extra oil. Like I have friends who will wake up the next day and their skin already has like some type of oil on it. If you are one of those people, definitely cleanse in the morning because you want to get rid of any excess sebum that your skin has produced overnight. For me, my skin doesn't do that. My skin will sometimes just be super tight in the morning. Like, you know that super dry after you wash your face, no moisturizer, and it's just like tight? <laughs> that is what my face is like most of the time in the morning. So, I only use water to cleanse my face. After I cleanse my face with water, pat dry with a towel, don't ever rub because it's not good for your face and if you're too rough with your skin it can cause premature wrinkles and damage and we don't want any of that so be gentle with your skin when i'm patting my face dry i make sure that my skin is still a little bit damp before i go in with my first product which is toner this is my favorite toner i did not believe in toners i did not use a toner really until i really started using this and i love this so this is the dr jart ceramidin liquid moisturizing toner and I love this stuff. If you're dry, if you're sensitive, or if you're just looking for a toner that's just gonna balance everything out and just make your skin make your skin feel better, this is the toner. So this toner has panthenol in it. I'm, I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. But panthenol helps to relieve dry, cracked, flaky skin. The panthenol in this is formulated with fig, uh, centella asiatica, which is known for calming effects. It helps with redness. It also has phyto extracts within it. The ceramide toner also has five cera complex that helps to moisturize your skin. It helps to strengthen your skin as well as boost its elasticity and firmness because as you know, as we get older, your skin isn't as plump and juicy anymore. It starts to honestly just dry out and die. <laughs> But to have something that's gonna help with firmness and elasticity, even though I'm so young, like, it's still good. Not a bad thing. It's easier to prevent than to treat. So when my face is slightly damp, I will apply this and I will just pat, 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 pat all over my face. I like to make sure my face is slightly damp when I'm applying my skincare products, just because when your skin is wet, your skin is more likely to absorb your skincare a lot easier, a lot faster, a lot better for you and your skin. Next skincare product, is a serum. I only use this in the morning and it is probably the best thing that I have purchased for my skin. It is the best vitamin C formulation, formulation, 
best <laughs> best vitamin C formulation that I have come across. This is the Desi Claro Que Si Vitamin C Serum. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love this. I have been trying to get everyone I know on this vitamin C serum because of how great it is. And I've shown countless people my experience using it. And I'm going to throw up pictures so you can see with a timestamp when I started using it and like what my acne scarring looked like versus a couple days later. Everyone wants instant gratification. Everyone wants to be able to use a product and wake up the next day and it just completely changes your skin. For me, this is this product. If you don't know who Desi Perkins here on YouTube, this is her skincare line. And I remember when she came out with this, she was talking about how amazing it is and the type of vitamin C she uses in this is also very high. So I think, I believe this is 15% pure vitamin C. If there's one serum that I can recommend to people who want to use a serum in the morning, it would 100% be vitamin C. Vitamin C serums are just one of those products that can do a little bit of everything and just, and just help the overall appearance of your skin. So vitamin C is known to help boost the production of collagen in your skin, which obviously will help reduce fine lines, wrinkles. It also protects from free radicals and helps protect from UV rays. It also helps to impede the production of melanin in your scarring, which over time will help to fade your scars. It brightens your overall complexion. There's just a lot that vitamin C does for your skin. Also, I'm just reading off my phone from the website. The Desi Claro Que Si serum also has what Desi calls her youth juice, and it has a custom blend of Mexican plum fruit, dragon fruit, acai berry, tamarind, mango, sour sauce, guava, and avocado extracts, and other rich antioxidants. Overall, very good for your skin, very high quality, and I 150,000% please, I recommend buy this serum. If there's one thing that you're gonna try from this entire video, let it be that serum. All right, wow, that was a long ass rant about vitamin C serum. Let's move on to the next step, moisturizer. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, during the summer months, my skin is a little bit more on the combo side, which means I'm a little bit more oilier. So I don't use a thicker cream like I would in the winter. So what I actually used most of the summer was the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizer. I don't actually have it with me because I, I literally finished the entire thing. Like I scraped that jar. Fabulous, fabulous moisturizer. If you are like all year round oily combo, I definitely recommend that moisturizer. It's very moisturizing without being too much. It doesn't leave your skin greasy. It absorbs very quickly and it just it's a nice whipped gel cream type consistency. It's very strange, but it feels very nice on the skin and I highly recommend that. When I ran out, I switched to this little guy right here. It's just a sample. I've used this for on and off for a couple years. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. This is another amazing gel type moisturizer. If you have oily skin, combo skin, this is absolutely amazing. If you have normal to dry skin like me during the winter I wouldn't use this because it's not enough I'm gonna be honest but during the summer months yeah for sure use this so this moisturizer is super light and it literally feels like when you're rubbing it in it feels like water like it literally disappears and that is gonna absorb so nicely into my skin it's pretty much basically absorbed and it feels like water it's such a strange feeling on your skin because the minute it touches your skin, it feels like water. It's so strange, but your, it absorbs very nicely into the skin. Again, non-greasy, not oily. It's a great, great moisturizer. All right, my camera died and I had to charge it. So if my lighting is a little bit different than before, I'm very sorry. But uh, yeah, back to the video. Right, the final product that is honestly the most important thing, or at least in my opinion, the most important thing in a morning skincare routine is sunscreen. In all honesty, if you're using any type of skincare in the morning and you are not using a sunscreen, you literally just wasted all your money. The sun damages your skin. We know this, we've been told this, we've been taught this, and it does. For example, if you are wearing vitamin C and you walk outside after you put on your beautiful, expensive vitamin C serum and you don't wear a sunscreen, you wasted your money because the minute you walk outside, the UV rays kills all of that vitamin C. It just basically stops it all from working and it just 
dies on your face. And then you just have dead vitamin C on your face and it's not doing anything. And that's why you need a sunscreen. So the sunscreen that I'm gonna recommend is the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Super Goop in general has amazing, amazing sunscreens. This one is from Sephora. If you don't want to buy an expensive sunscreen or one from Sephora, just buy a sunscreen. There are sunscreens everywhere, sunscreens at the dollar store, if you, dollar store, at the drugstore. I truly, truly love this. It applies really nicely. It's a very thin, spreadable consistency. It does not leave a white cast on my skin, which is very important to me because I am a brown girl, and when I put sunscreen on that leaves a white cast, I turn gray or purple. And it's not a cute look. The fact that this doesn't leave a white cast and also absorbs very quickly is very convenient, especially in the morning when I really don't have time to be, you know, trying to rub in that sunscreen, trying to get rid of that white cast on my face. This is a great sunscreen. I love it. But again, you do not need an expensive sunscreen. You just need to be using sunscreen. And that concludes my morning skincare routine, skincare video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to purchase any of these products, I will link everything down below in the description bar. If you want me to do more in-depth videos or even reels about any of these products, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will get those up for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!